Okay guys, so welcome to this class. In this class, we're actually going to be learning how to work with app data, right? So when I mean app data, I mean some instances, some variables, some values we want to be accessible from anywhere within our app, okay? So these variables are going to be static variables so that we can call them from any activity or from any class and it makes the whole work a lot easier for us, all right? So without much ado, let's go right into it. So the first thing that I want to make accessible from anywhere from within our app is our Firebase database. So this is our Firebase database. So we, we don't want this to be in this place, right? So we actually value organization. So we want to find a way to organize this appropriately in our app data so that from anywhere we can always accept our database so because we're using Firebase authentication, we might probably need to get an instance of our UID, that's our user ID, at different points in our application, and a, lot of, a bunch of other stuff. So guys, let's just go ahead and create our app data file, right? So I'm going to go to helpers. I'm going to add a new file. And I'm going to call this app data helper okay so now we have this what i'm going to do is i'm going to change the access modifier to public and i'm going to add static so whenever we make a class static it means that it will always be available from anywhere within the application right it is inherently declared all right Okay, so the first thing we need to do is to create a method that will return an instance of our Firebase database, okay? So we need to create a new method to do that. So we're gonna say private static Firebase database. Okay, so we need to bring a reference to our package. And I'm going to call this method get database, all right? Bam. So I need to put in some commands here, right? So I'm going to go to my main activity and I'm going to grab all of this, all right? So let's delete initialize database. I'm going to paste this here, okay? So when we press this here, we need to do some things, okay? First of all, we need to bring in a reference to our Firebase app. Bam. So let's change this to application.contest, all right? So that suffices. So the next thing we need to do is, is to finish this up. We're going to say application.contest. And, and for this, we're going to need to define a new instance of Firebase database. So I'm going to say Firebase database, database, okay? So this is where we're going to assign the value to it. So if you have been following this class and you were in the class where we thought how to Log in and sign up using Firebase authentication. You remember that we use the Firebase option to force our Firebase to create a new instance. Paraventure, we, we call this command initialize app and it didn't work. We want to force it to create a new instance. All right. So that's why this particular chunk of code, you know, is comes in handy and is very useful as well. So this will help us get an instance of our database. And of course, if our Firebase app has already been initialized, we just go here and, and grab the instance, all right? So I'm going to delete all of this. Okay. And lastly, I'm going to say return database. So we need to do exactly the same thing for the instance of our Firebase authentication, right? So the Firebase authentication will, will help us to get the instance of the current user. And of course, the UID as well. So what we're going to do is, we are going to create a new method. We're going to say public static, Firebase auth. So we need to bring a reference of this. 
okay I'm gonna call this get firebase off so to keep this short I'm going to go here and copy this code I'm going to copy all of this and paste it here so instead of having firebase database I'm going to change this and have firebase auth I'm going to call this m auth right instead of having database I'm going to say m auth will be equal to firebase auth dot instance all right so if our app already exists we're going to have the same thing here and I'm going to return my m auth okay so this same thing we need to do it for our current user as well if you want to grab an instance of our current user okay so I'm going to say public static firebase user so we're going to call this get current user okay so we're going to have to do exactly the same thing we did here all right almost exactly so this time around we're going to add an instance of a firebase user M user so at this point M user M user will be equal to M auth dot current user all right so we're gonna copy both of this as well and paste it here and we're gonna return our M user okay so guys this is just how straightforward it is to set up these stuffs okay if you're wondering how are we going to be making use of this for instance if you head back into our main activity you can just say app data add data helper dot get current user so this will just give you an instance of the current user so it really comes in handy all right so this really makes a lot of sense so guys this will be all for now so see you in the next class